Avocados, a superfood for your heart, uh, full of monounsaturated fats and um, good for a flat belly as well. So do keep eating um, avocados. Um, some people think that they're high in fat. Well, yes, but the good fat. To pick a ripe avocado, it should yield gently um, when you press it, um, but it shouldn't have any dents and really soft spots. Um, and it shouldn't be um, not firm to the touch. I mean, you want it firm, but you want it to yield as well. So to cut an avocado to get into it, it has a big central pit. So what I'm gonna do is with a very sharp knife is go around the circumference of the avocado and twist it, because the pit's there, and cut it in half. And look how beautiful that is. It's perfectly green. Looks like it's the perfect consistency um, as far as ripeness. That little blemish there is just from the pit, so we're not worried about that. And to get this pit out, if the avocado is super ripe, we can just pop the pit out. Um, this one's perfectly ripe, so the pit still has some cling factor to it. So what we're gonna do, and just be very, very careful, again, the knife has to be sharp. We're just gonna give the pit a slight whack and then twist it slightly and there's our pit on our knife. And then you just have to rub it against a counter to release the pit. Now there are two ways that you could get the flesh from the avocado out. You could do a cross hatch like this, but again, be careful. It's a very sharp knife. You don't want to go straight through to your hand and yield so much pressure. Um, with this like this, you could just then either squeeze it out or you could just simply peel it. The other thing you could do is to take a spoon, see how easily it pops out? You take a spoon and help release it. Avocado will go brown if um, we don't put acid to it, so some acidity. So here we're gonna use some beautiful fresh limes. Do use fresh lime juice. To get um, the juice out of a lime, one uh, trick that you can do is to take the palm of your hand and roll the lime against the board and yielding a lot of pressure onto it. And you can feel it's already much softer and pliable than it was to start with. So we're gonna cut this in half. I'm gonna use our citrus juicer here. You can use a reamer, you can use a fork, or you could just squeeze it over because limes don't really have um, the seeds that are gonna get into our dish. So we're gonna simply add this to our bowl And to mash an avocado, I find a pastry blender works really, really well. A potato masher will work well. I don't like mine totally smooth. I like getting bits of chunks of my avocado in there. Um, and just a couple of mashes like this. And you're good to go with your avocado. It's already mashed up. Now, we're not good to go with our guacamole because what I would like to add is a little bit of fresh garlic. You want to find garlic that has a tight head. The skin is tight, it's not wet, um, most of the cloves are completely intact. There's a little bit of separation there, but it's probably me taking it home from the grocery store, binged it up a bit. Um, I also like the purple variety. To me, it's sweeter and fresher. Um, so we're going to take this pointy side down and we're going to mash with our hand, this is a very fresh head of garlic because it's a little hard to separate out and the cloves will pop out. And to get the skin off, which is really difficult to do, um, we simply would take our clove of garlic and we're going to take the side of our knife with the blade facing away from us and just simply go like that. There you have a skin-free piece of garlic. And you do want to get this little niblet of this hard bit there that wouldn't be fun in your creamy guacamole to get that, um, to come across that when you're um, enjoying it. So we're just chopping this garlic. But since we're con combining this with a nice, creamy, beautiful avocado, we also don't want to bite into a big bit of garlic. So to get this garlic smaller and to mince it, you want to then use the side of your blade to mash it. And we can see even more juices coming out. So this makes it even easier to crush it and to mince it. And mincing really means that it's more like a paste. 
if you added a little kosher salt to this, that would help grind it as well. So there you are, fresh garlic. Not, that did not take long at all. We're gonna add that. Again, add that to taste. It depends on your tolerance for fresh garlic, what you might wanna do. Um, the other things that you could add to your guacamole, I like it pretty straight up. I like a little bit of fresh cilantro chopped in it. Um, and this is our fresh cilantro here. If you have um, an aversion to cilantro, as some people do, um, you could add chives, you could add basil as a fresh hit of an herb. You can make your uh, guacamole, I've done it even a day ahead. The thing to do is to put it in a you know, smaller vessel than this, put it in a narrow cylindrical container. So even something like this would be good so that only you know all this creamy goodness is not hitting the air or doesn't have the chance to. And then press right directly onto the surface of the avocado um, some plastic wrap and generally it'll keep for you know anywhere from four hours to a day. So there you have it, easy guacamole. Four ingredients, three in this case, and you're good to go. So we just need chips now.